for science students. Uh, we're going to work on the last lesson for soil. Unit's not over yet, uh, but last last lesson with soils. Teaching point, put this in your notebook. I will be able to create relationships connecting surface land features and infiltration. All right, launch. Do you think it's easier for infiltrating water to pass through soil or rock? Explain your reasoning. All right, so you can pause this, think about an answer, and once you're satisfied, right, you can unpause it and listen in to the answer. Okay. Uh, during class time, you mentioned that the there is rock below this picture, and that rock is called bedrock. Bedrock is very long. It covers large areas of the earth. It is below the surface. All right, below us here in Little Neck, New York, um, bedrock is can be 50 feet or 100 feet or 150 feet below the surface, right? So it's pretty far or deep. Water has to be built up on top of that. So therefore, um, everything will absorb water, soil or rock, but rocks will have pore spaces like soil does but the pore spaces are not big enough for water to infiltrate. So therefore, we have groundwater that builds up below the Earth's surface, above the bedrock. Right, so it will be easier to infiltrate soil than rock. Now, not all types of soil will infiltrate easier. Like, for instance, clay. Clay has very small pore spaces. Clay would not infiltrate water as well as a soil composed of sand or a soil composed of pebbles or a soil composed of cobbles or a soil composed of boulders. Soil is dealing with size. Now, rocks, not all rocks will absorb quite well. Metamorphic rocks are heat and pressurized. Right? They're under extreme pressure. And when they're under pressure, um, and once the new rock is made, that new metamorphic rock is made, the pore spaces are greatly reduced so that metamorphic rocks will barely have any water passing through them. The only rock that can really have water pass through it a lot easier would be your sedimentary rock. Since sedimentary rocks are made up of sediments, per se, it is porous, meaning that it does have pore spaces and this would allow water to pass through it much easier than metamorphic and igneous. Igneous rocks have interlocking crystals, interlocking, which means that there's going to be very limited space between the minerals that make up the rock igneous. So you're going to have the best infiltration for sedimentary rocks. Now right, let's take a look here at this VR. Now what you can see in this VR is some, looks like some flooding issues. Now the reason why we have some flooding here Well, we probably had some low pressure. Here I see some 
some blue skies here. So in terms of weather station model, maybe 75% uh, cloud cover. This might be considered partly cloudy. You do have some places where you do see some blue. Probably is more than 75%. But at some point, we probably had a low pressure right to the point where we had a lot of rainfall and too much of this it looks like it didn't allow some of this water to get into the earth or the earth to absorb it so maybe it rained too hard for a short period of time and the water couldn't get through or maybe the ground is completely saturated so the water table rose up right to the surface and there's no place else for that runoff to go but continue to run off on the earth's surface seem to All right, I seem to have uh, lost my ability to zoom in, but I can't Oh, there we go. Okay. Better. <laughs> okay. Let's take a look at this VR. Now this VR here, nice, beautiful, green landscape. A lot of vegetation, a lot of transpiration. A lot of transpiration, a lot of water vapor in the atmosphere. A lot of water vapor, a lot of condensation. A lot of condensation. Probably a lot of probably high humidities here. All right, we see uh, a valley-like. We have a high elevation, a lot of exposed rock here. Not too good for accumulating soil. And we have our valley right down below where it can capture a lot of this water. All right, so if you were to have water flow on the surface, we, can, we, we know that this grass needs water, and it's going to be able to absorb that water into the earth. Much easier than this exposed rock with no green to it, no vegetation. Even here, right? This is relatively a flat surface. But there probably is a bit more runoff here because there's not a lot of green to absorb it. Let's check out one more. Ooh, okay. Now this one here, we have a lot of exposed rock. Not a lot of green except for maybe down here in this valley-like area. All right, so 
probably have a lot more of water flowing on the surface than absorbing into the earth. There is some vegetation, but nothing extensive. We don't have trees and bushes and plants. We see a lot of green, but we see a lot of moss at the surface. All right, a lot more, lot more trees down here. Uh, by the way, this moss is the key component in making and creating soils. Without moss, the soils would not be made. Fruits and vegetables won't be made. Trees won't be around. A lot of, lot of factors. All right, let's get this down, please. Steeper slopes have runoff that moves faster. Faster moving water cannot infiltrate as easy as slower moving water. So you will definitely have gradients to your surfaces, some slopes. Sometimes the slopes can be steep, sometimes they can be gentle. Gentle slopes would have water absorbed into the earth much easier than it flowing on the surface. But steep slopes would have more runoff. The curveball in this picture here is that we get some green, green pastures here. So we have some grass and this could definitely absorb. All right, then we have saturated soil. So if the soil is saturated, that means that the earth cannot absorb it. And if the earth is saturated and the earth can't absorb it, that means we will have a lot of runoff. So the more saturated the soil is, or the rock is with water, the less water is able to infiltrate into it. This would indicate more runoff. All right, our next one here is vegetation. All right, vegetation on a slope slows down the runoff passing by it. This gives the water more time to be infiltrated. All right, so looking at this picture here, right comparing these two, we have some vegetation here on the left and lack of vegetation on the right. Right, we have a steep gradient and a steep gradient on both sides. Because this has a lot of vegetation and it is also steep, that vegetation can eventually slow down that water so the earth can absorb it. However, since there is less vegetation here um, and less vegetation to slow down the water running on the surface, we would have more runoff on that side. So that more runoff will lead to water being added in this valley. Maybe this is a creek, a brook, a stream, or a river. Maybe it's standing water. Maybe it's maybe it's a, a little pond or it could be a lake. Who knows? I think it's looks like a valley with running water. Water that flows. All right, last bit of your notes. Frozen ground, more runoff. When the ground is frozen, water cannot pass through it. The frozen ground acts as an impermeable surface. Impermeable. We know that perme permeability is the ability of water to pass through it. So when you throw a prefix for im in front, that would help negate the word. So impermeable means that it cannot pass through. And this will result in more runoff and less infiltration. 
All right, so we have frozen ground, aka permafrost, and that can prevent water from being absorbed. So this can act as more runoff along the Earth's surface. All right, so let's look at the fill in the blanks. Okay, so water can flow on the surface of the earth or infiltrate the earth under the following conditions. One, steep slopes would have more runoff and gentle slopes would have more infiltration. So these are just relationships. Number two, unsaturated soils would have more infiltration. So if it's unsaturated, that means that the earth can absorb it. The water table is low, below the earth's surface. Whereas saturated soils would have more runoff. So if you have soils where the water table is at the Earth's surface, you would have a lot more runoff. Number three, high amounts of vegetation would have more infiltration, while low amounts of vegetation would have more runoff. Vegetation needs the water, wants the water, and helps slows it down. Number four, frozen ground would have more runoff, while thawed ground would have more infiltration. So once the ground becomes unfrozen or thawed out, then the earth has the ability then to have water pass through it. We can think of frozen ground as being bedrock almost like a nice big piece of bedrock at the surface. All right, uh, that is your lesson. Um, I will assign some work for you on Test Wizard. All right, please make sure you get that completed. All right, have a great rest of your day, and thank you.